What's going on everybody and welcome to the channel. Today we are checking out the KFRC's KF607. It is a foldable tilt adjustable Wi-Fi FPV camera optical flow sensor quadcopter ready to fly. So let's open up the box and check it out. All right, so here is the quadcopter and it is looking really nice, very compact in design, foldable props as well as foldable arms. Now it is also looking really familiar as well. Now I've done a review on a quadcopter, the SJ RC's Z5 and this quadcopter is looking almost identically the same as that one. Now that one however was a GPS quadcopter. This one is not but this one does have the optical flow sensor. Now taking a look at the quadcopter there's the LED lights just like the SJRC Z5 all around on each of the motor pods here and we got a push button on and off switch right on the top. Uh, camera is tilt adjustable uh, via the remote control remote control tilt adjustable camera it can go straight horizon or all the way down to 90 degrees and we are also able to use the deputy camera this optical flow sensor also doubles as a deputy camera so you can flip from the frontal camera view to the optical sensor deputy camera view via the wi-fi phone app so which is nice but however this does not come with a sd card slot so that does not have a micro sd card dvr so you're going to have to record your photos and videos directly to your wi-fi phone app so let's go ahead and fold this thing out here fold out the rear arms first and the front arms and vice versa when you are closing it up and it is looking pretty nice i guess the design is really nice and very compact and when you open it up it becomes a nice looking quadcopter as well so everybody's jumping in on the design bandwagon now the battery is in the back and it is a proprietary battery now i've been checking to see whether uh or not they give you the information on the battery on the product page uh, they do but uh, I think it's a mistake they claim that it is a 3.7 volt 300 milliamp size battery which is identically the same as the battery that comes inside of the remote control so the remote control has a built-in battery as well so you just charge it up with the micro USB slot there so you don't need to provide your own battery you just charge this baby up so I think the information is wrong it kind of looks like a two cell battery here so it's a 7.4 volt maybe right about oh I would say about 600 milliamp size I didn't open it up uh, you could open it up and check out and take a look inside but I did not so I'm just taking a guess uh, the product page however does not uh, give you the correct uh, information on the battery there's the charge port and it is also a micro usb charge port as well and there is a led light that indicates uh, that you are charging via a red led light and when it's fully charged the red led light stops blinking so that's how you know and this is the proprietary battery uh, this unit however uh, i believe supposedly be a 4k camera now there's a bunch of varieties that you can choose from you can choose from a 4k camera with one two three batteries i think and you can also choose the 1080p camera and you can choose one two three batteries as well so there's a variety of uh, versions on this quack up there now it is claiming to have 4k camera uh, I'm not sure about that. Well, we'll check it out. We'll take some photos and videos and take a look and see if the quality is good. But we are taking a photo. We are taking a video via the Wi-Fi phone app instead of a micro SD card. So I'm not sure that's going to represent a 4K uh, quality video and photo. All right. So let's take a look at what else we get. We get a bag of goodies. We got a screwdriver in here. We got some extra props. I think it's a full set of extra props. And we got the USB to micro USB charge cable. And we got the instruction booklet. It's a pretty small instruction booklet. It does tell you everything you need to know. Uh, all of the functions and buttons on the remote control. How to go about taking off and how to go about uh, flying it. And also 
to download your Wi-Fi phone app and it is called the H Fun app in the App Store, free downloadable app. There's a QR code to scan and download and it goes on to show you some of the functions of the Wi-Fi phone app as well. So nice little instruction manual, small however uh, complete. And here is the remote control, uh, looking pretty nice. It's one of those fold out units and these fold out units double as a phone clip. You just put your phone in there, spring loaded, very nice. If you're not gonna use it, it provides a good hand grip for your hands. Now, the antennas on these things are always fake. So don't think that if I'm flying with the antennas down, uh, why are you doing that? Flip the antennas up. Well, it's just for look. So that's why I have it folded down, but it does look nice to have it folded up. All right, I'll leave it folded up. So some functional buttons on the top. Uh, this one over here is to tilt the camera angle up. And this one here is to tilt the camera angle down. I'll demonstrate that in a little bit once I get it all hooked up. Uh, this one here takes a photo and this one here takes a video. Hopefully it works uh, while you got the Wi-Fi phone app connected. So we'll check that out as well. Uh, power on and off button here, some LED light indicators. Uh, this button over here is the one key to take off and one key to land. We'll check that out and see if that works without uh, arming it or anything like that. Uh, this here is the headless mode button and this here is the fine tuning button. So there is no physical trim buttons on this remote control. So you press this button once and you can do all the trims that you want and then press it again to exit the trim menu, which is pretty nice. It works just fine. Uh, and the micro USB port to charge up the internal built-in battery. I'm not sure what the uh, runtime on this battery is, but hopefully it gives you enough time to fly a couple of charged batteries if you were to buy more than one this unit however only came with one battery so i only have one battery but you can order up to like i said before up to three batteries now to arm the motors on this quadcopter just throttle up and let go and it arms and hold the throttle all the way down and it will disarm the motors both sticks to the bottom and in will calibrate either the gyro or the accelerometer and both sticks to the bottom and to the left will also either calibrate the gyro or the accelerometer. All right, so let's go for a little demo flight with the KFRC's KF607. All right, let's get started with the demo flight. So powering up the quadcopter here. We got blue LEDs in the front and red LEDs in the rear. So let's place it right here. That'll be the northbound heading. And power up the remote control. The light is still flashing, so you gotta do the up and down on the throttle to bind the quadcopter to the remote control. And let's calibrate the gyros and the accelerometer. Bolt sticks to the bottom and in. And bolt sticks to the bottom and to the left. All right, we are ready to go. Now all you gotta do here is either hit the one kilo take off and land button, or you can arm the motors by throttling up and letting go, and disarm the motor by throttling all the way down and holding it for a couple seconds. All right, let me go ahead and start my phone app on my iPad here. All right, going into the settings. Wi-Fi section of the settings and there's the M84K Wi-Fi network connecting to it and we are connected I don't know if it's 4K but we'll test it out okay it says resolution setting the default setting is 4K image and 720p real-time video you can set it from the settings page it's rely on your phone device and the new work environment. I'm pretty sure it was network environment. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. And we can also calibrate the gyros from the phone app as well. I'm gonna hit start and see if we get some FPV here. Yep, we got FPV, so we are connected. Now let's go ahead and take some photos real quick with the phone app. I'll also take some photos in the air. All right, I got Horizon. Let me go ahead and hit screen record. All 
All right, screen is recording. And let's take some photos. All right, I'm going to tilt up the quadcopter a bit to get horizon view. So let me take a look at the camera. It is tilting down about oh, 10 degrees or so. Let's see if we can change the angle. So hitting the angle up. Nope, apparently that is as high as it'll go. And it will go down. There you go, going up. Yeah, that is as high as it'll go. Let me see if I can push it up. Nope, it'll rebound right back. So this thing has about a 10 degree or 15 degree tilt angle down. So let's go ahead and take some photos. Yeah, that's too bad it doesn't stay up. Okay, all right, we're taking a photo there. Okay, takes a little while. Okay, oh, those mountains look really nice in the morning. Okay, don't forget the photo of the car and the sun. Oh, check it out. There's no dot in the middle of the sun. So this camera quality is good, but I don't believe it'll be 4K. But we'll find out. Okay, landing pad and the table at the same time. Okay, and one final photo. Alright, so we're taking some photos there. Let me go and arm it and we'll take off and I'll take a few more photos there. Let me see if the photo button and the uh, video button on the remote control work. Let me go ahead and take a photo. Oh yeah, it does work. So I can take photos from the remote control while I'm flying it in the air. But you need to have the Wi-Fi phone app turned on because it does not have a SD card DVR. All right, so let's see. One key to take off and land. Oh yeah, automatic takeoff. Comes to a hover right around that altitude and we got optical flow sensor. So it is holding steady, check it out. It is almost like GPS. Nice, pretty nice. Going up in altitude. And we are in speed number one, and I am forward pitching, but it does not want to traverse. There we go. We got some movement. Optical flow sensor was holding it back, I think. So check it out. I'm forward pitching, but it doesn't want to really go forward. Ha ha ha. Speed number two. Uh, I forgot to mention earlier, down pressing on the throttle stick is the speed control button and down pressing on the pitch and roll stick is the emergency stop. Okay, speed number two and check it out. It is going forward. Tiny bit of breeze, maybe that is why it's not traversing forward this way. Okay, full yaw. Bank turn. Hey, not bad. Yeah, that's decent. There you go. Yeah, looking pretty nice. We are supposed to have an 18 minute flight time with this battery. So very long flight time with this proprietary battery. So if you are thinking about this quadcopter, you might want to check out the one that comes with the multiple battery. So you don't have to recharge this one after you're done. All right, so let's go in speed number three, this thing. And we got a little bit more speed. We got a little bit more pitch angle, looks like, and the yaw speed got faster. 
Yeah, not bad. Yeah. Hey, so far so good with this thing. All right, so let's go ahead and take some photos in the air, from the air. Okay, so hitting this button here. Hopefully that took a photo. And see, there's a little breeze taking it back. Let me go forward, upwind. There's the upwind there, and one more photo there. Turn around, one more photo there, and let me just leave it hovering and come back to the phone app, and let me go in and hit video from the remote. All right, I don't see anything happening on the phone app and looks like it's frozen in time. Let me bring it back. Yeah, I think it's frozen in time, guys. Yeah, we are not connected to the Wi-Fi network anymore. Yeah, we are completely off. All right, so let me go ahead and bring it in and let me hit the one key to land. Oops, the wind is just uh, picking up now. One key to land. And let me bring it in and land on the landing pad. And the motor's shut off. All right, so leave it right here. And I do not have anything going on on the app itself. So I'm going to go ahead and kill it. And let's see if I still have Wi-Fi connection. I still have Wi-Fi connection, but the app just kind of froze. So let me go ahead and restart the app. Hit start. Nope, not connecting. Let me go ahead and kill the app one more time and restart. Nope, doesn't look like it's going to start on me. The phone app has completely died, but I'm still connected to the network. So let me get out of the network, turn off my Wi-Fi, turn it back on, and we are being reconnected automatically. Well, check it out. Really quick, too. So start the phone app one more time. Hit start. Come on, come on. No, it's not going to happen. All right, so let me go ahead and turn everything off and restart. So there's a little issue with disconnect. All right, so let me turn off the quadcopter and turn off the remote control. Go into the settings and I'm not connected. All right, so let me go ahead and turn the quadcopter back on. Turn the remote bind calibrate the gyros accelerometer and i got out of the wi-fi network so i'm going to reconnect <laughs> look at all the wi-fi networks around here okay i'm connected h fun app okay got it now it is starting off correctly there we go. We got Wi-Fi FPV. I'm going to hit video. Let me go ahead and look at the folder and check it out. Yeah, I do have some photos. And do I have any videos? No, no videos. I just have photos. So I didn't hit the video button on the phone app, but I did hit it on the remote control. So there's no videos. All right. So there's the counter counting away on the top as well screen is recording all right so let me go ahead and place this thing right here i guess no, i'm gonna put it right here in the shade so i can see it better all right let's go ahead and check it out so the video is recording and let's go ahead and take off let me arm it manually and take off manually yeah not bad 
Too bad the Wi-Fi phone app got uh, disconnected. Yeah, gotta fly it in speed number three because there is a little breeze here today. Hey, but this thing is flying pretty nice. And the price on this quadcopter is pretty decent as well. I think it's right around $50. So for everything that you get, not bad at all. All right, so let's go ahead and check it out. And let me see if I got FPV here. Yep, I got FPV. Let me tilt down on the camera angle. Yeah, you can tilt down, take a look on the bottom. You can tilt up. Yep, and that is the highest that you'll go. And check it out, it is uh, holding its position like a GPS quadcopter because of the optical flow sensor. That is just awesome. All right, so if I hit, let's see, this camera button, it is recording. Okay, so while it's recording, I'm not able to switch from the frontal camera to the deputy camera. Okay, so let me go ahead and hit the record button and stop recording. But I do have screen record, so let's hit this camera button. And we got the deputy camera looking towards the ground. Uh, lesser quality camera, of course. And let me hit it again. We will get frontal camera. Okay, it doesn't have the picture in picture like the other ones. Okay, bottom camera. And hit it again. Frontal camera. Okay, so we don't have the picture-in-picture picture and the split screen on this one. Let me see if I can do some FPV here. And coming towards me. It is not coming towards me though. I'm pitching forward, but it does not want to come forward. Yeah, the wind is blowing steadily here. And do I have a freeze on my screen? And my video stopped recording. So I'm going to go ahead and restart the recording. There you go. All right, it's coming forward. It kind of lost connection somewhat. Oh, and it came down in altitude a lot. Okay, coming towards me. So this thing does have a little bit of an issue, I think, with uh, staying connected with the phone app. But while you're flying close, it is pretty accurate. I am able to circle around myself relatively easy. Okay, there I am going over myself here and making a little left turn. And because the camera is tilting down somewhat, you are able to shoot the ground a lot most of the time because of the pitch angle in speed number three. So you want to catch more horizon, you're going to have to kind of plateau off and even fly backwards. That's the bad thing about quadcopters that have tilt angle cameras pointing down. Even though this is adjustable, you are not able to get the horizon view, which is just beautiful this morning. Yeah, so you got to kind of fly backwards here and clock up this way over there <laughs> all right so it does have distance as well all right so let me go ahead and bring it in okay so not bad not bad so far hopefully we did take some photos in the air and we are still taking a video yes all right so let's check out some of the other functions real quick here uh, we got the headless mode. Oh, look at that. The headless mode is a little messed up. The heading. So let's bring it back in. And let me hit the one key to land button and redirect its path. And the wind is steadily picking up slowly. It's supposed to get pretty windy by afternoon. Okay, and this is the windless day so far out of about a week and a half. So 
got to take advantage of today here. All right, so the northbound heading is that way here once again. I'm going to go ahead and calibrate the gyros and calibrate the accelerometer. And let's go ahead and take off one more time. Okay, I think I did that on a kind of unlevel uh, spot here, but it does hold its position because of the optical flow sensor check it out it is not just drifting away it is trying to fight the wind by itself look at that it is holding steady ha not bad huh optical flow almost like gps without the return to home function headless mode so you want to use the headless mode if you are in trouble if you are too far and you have lost orientation you can always pull it back towards you to the southbound heading this one does not have a one key return so you can use the headless mode to do that. So going to the left in a full yaw spin, going to the right, full yaw spin. So what I like to call uh, going forward northbound heading and pulling it down towards myself is the southbound heading. So you just pull it towards the southbound heading and going to the left would be the westbound heading and going north away from me. All right, so let's go ahead and hit that button one more time and Okay, there we go. Hey, not bad, not bad so far. Everything is working pretty good. All right, do some camera activity. Okay, hopefully we still got FPV video. Yeah, we still got FPV video and it is coming towards me. Okay, pretty good, huh? Not bad. KFRC KF607. Wi-Fi FPV quadcopter, supposedly 4K. Yeah, <laughs> I strongly believe that this is just a 1080p camera. Going backwards here, so we get some video. All right, yeah, too lengthy of a flight time. Even for this review, 18 minutes, and it is proving to have a pretty decent flight time. Okay, let's see what happens if I lose connection and turn off the remote control. All right, let me go ahead and turn it off. Well, come to a hover, lock your position. There you go, it kind of locked its position. Let me go ahead and turn it off. Okay turned off the remote and doesn't look like it's doing anything at all uh oh it, Houston we have a problem it doesn't have a self landing function once you get disconnected with the hard remote ah that is not good let me go ahead and see if I can reconnect okay uh oh oh no we have disconnected with the quadcopter and we have no control over it. Okay, let me go and check out the phone app and let me see if I can connect it with the phone app and control it with the phone app. It's still holding position, so that is nice. Okay. Do I have implicit rocker? Yeah. All right. I got control over the quadcopter with the Wi-Fi phone app. So, apparently, it has disconnected from the hard remote and it gave me control with the phone app. And it is coming down really quick and it is just going all kinds of directions. Let me go up in altitude here and see if I can keep it steady. Okay. So it says flight on the bottom right. Let me go ahead and hit that. 
tips, the available distance between you and the drone is about 2 meters. When the red frame is more than 80% of the human area, the best effect can be achieved. Okay, that is not what I wanted to go with. Okay, let me go ahead and stop it. Emergency stop. And it has come to a landing. Let me go ahead and retrieve it. Okay, so there's a little disconnect problem with the hard remote but I still had control with the phone app so that is good I still have Wi-Fi FPV let me see if I can reconnect with the phone or my hard remote no I cannot okay all right so let me go ahead and stop the recording let me hit the flight button the available distance between you flight okay let me go ahead and hit that master it says all right let me see if i can con connect it now nope i am un unable to connect and this is the selfie function and all that okay so i'm unable to reconnect with the hard remote guys so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and turn it off and reconnect with the hard remote or should i just fly it with the Wi-Fi phone app. I'm going to fly it with the Wi-Fi phone app. I think we have just about demonstrated all of the functions. Nope, I didn't demonstrate the fine-tuning function of the hard remote. All right, so let me go ahead and turn it off and turn it back on. Turned it off. Turned off the remote. Turned on the quad. Turned on the remote up and down and I see that the lights are kind of blinking away so maybe it is low on battery as well uh, let me see but it does arm itself alright so if you are flying and it has a drift uh, the optical flow sensor is not working it has a drift uh, you want to hit this function button you want to hit it once and then you can go ahead and trim with the pitch and roll stick as you heard the short beeps are trimming beeps and the long beep is center of the trim okay and we are out of the trim function so hit the trim or the function button or the fine tuning button do your trimming and hit that button again and you are out or you can wait a little bit and it will get out by itself all right so that is the fine tuning button all right so everything else we have checked out so let's go ahead and fly it again with the hard remote real quick here and yeah it is out of battery so that is the flight time of this quadcopter the kfrc's kf607